For many years, Michael and I, and, and our kids when we had him, would take a trip to visit his family in Coronado, California. And every morning, my favorite, favorite part about the whole trip, really, was our morning strolls. We'd, we'd throw the kids in a stroller and set off to get coffee, donuts, donuts for the kids, and a burrito for Michael. And even though I always said I didn't want any of the burrito, I would always eat at least half of it. Oh, with uh, sufficient supplies and sustenance, we would continue our walk that circles the whole island and spans several hours. And while nearly every trip around the island is breathtaking, there was one walk I'll never forget. It was actually pre-children for Michael and I and the morning after Thanksgiving. Michael and I were in the middle of our Coronado morning routine. We had our coffee, we ate our food, and despite the November chill in the air, the, the sun was out and winter vacationers from all over the world were on the sidewalk that framed the beach. Young couples, old couples, couples with children, which we didn't have yet, joggers, walkers, dog people. It was a little crowded, uh, but festive and cheerful. Now, as we maneuvered our way down the sidewalk on this particular walk, two children stood out, a young sister and a brother who had obviously been told to wait by the lamppost while their parents rummaged around in the minivan that was parked next to them. To entertain themselves, the kids were playing a game that probably had just been made up. A game I assumed was called, This is My Pile of Sand. <laughs> they took turns standing on, on tiny piles of sand that it accumulated on either side of the lamppost. And the sister would, would stand on one of them and would yell, this is my pile of sand. And the brother would, would run around to her side and stick his foot like brothers do in the pile and say, no, this is my pile of sand. And then the sister would then run to the other side of the lamppost and stand in the pile and say, this is my sand. And they just kept back and forth. And I, and I watched these little barefooted children like battle each other as we walked. I mean, it was all out war. Nothing could break their focus on these teeny tiny little piles of sand, not even their mother yelling, telling them like, play nice. <laughs> and then as we passed them, I couldn't help but look to my left. And there, filling the 200 yards between the sidewalk and the sea, sprawling miles down the waterscape in, in sheets of glistening winter white were limitless tons of classic California sand. Some were spotted with footprints from tourists, some lay smooth, some were in waves that had been moved by the wind, all just a few feet from where the children played. Piles the children never noticed, all this tons of sand they never noticed because they were too busy fighting over the tiny little accumulations around the base of that lamppost where they stood. They never, they never even looked up. The thought didn't occur to them that more could be waiting for them just on the other side of the concrete path. Now, to their credit, they're children. Children who were no doubt told by their parents not to so much look in the direction of the beach, must much less chase after that sand. They were kids who had who had no choice but to keep themselves busy while they waited for parents. Parents are so annoying to take them by the hand and then lead them to their next adventure. They did the best they could, right, with what they have. Trying not to be tempted by what was around them. They were kids, so it was okay, but I couldn't help but ask myself, what's my excuse? I mean, on more than one occasion, I have found myself entirely wrapped up, fighting and frustrated, stomping around barefoot, trying to stake my claim on a tiny, insignificant pile of sand, the sand of relationships, the sand of social status, the sand of a, a career, whatever it was, I've been deeply consumed in the past, in moments, in these child's games that leave me oblivious and blind to the beautiful beaches that are all around me. Beaches with unlimited sand and possibility 
opportunities and happiness. We've all been there, investing our energy in small things while the big ones lay untouched on the other side of the sidewalk. Now, it's been a while since our last Coronado morning stroll. However, when we do go, every time we pass that spot on the sidewalk, now often over the dull roar of my own children, I look to the sand and try to remind myself of all of the vast beaches all around me.